So today we've conducted, uh, we're still in the midst of our annual aircraft mishap exercise. It's an opportunity to come out here into the field to train with our partners from the South Hampton Roads area, uh, responding to an aircraft uh, mishap and a mass casualty event. It's a unique opportunity to bring a lot of folks together, develop those relationships, and train face to face. Now, this was a really complex drill. It was well, well thought out. Um, we spent a lot of time planning this. So we had two structural fires and a structural collapse situation, um, an aircraft crash with a mass casualty incident. So therefore, it really tasked every single one of these units to, uh, to stretch their resources as thin as possible. Um, when you have that many things going on at once, uh, it's a coordinated effort from the command post in order to figure out um, who needs to handle what and communicate that effectively to the crews operating on the scene. Training is why we come together. This is one big training evolution that's good for all of us. It brings communications hand-to-hand, -hand, one -on one-on-one with us, so we all become one unit. When something does, like this does happen, it's not foreign. We work with the Navy on a regular basis. All of the, uh, the Navy firefighters, they come off base and assist us um, in automatic aid, and, and the same with uh, the beach. We, we respond on base whenever they need assistance. So we work together a lot, however, um, with, even though we, we do things similarly, you know, it's still a different organization, so it's always beneficial when we can train. Uh, you never know what you're going to encounter, and we like to uh, present our first responders with a complex scenario, something that challenges them, because you just never know what you're going to see in the real world. That certainly uh, has held true multiple times over the years. Uh, the aviator in me thinks it's very elegant to come out here and train in a very dynamic environment with a lot of moving parts. It's phenomenal when we can get all of these groups together for a mass casualty exercise because when something like this happens, it's really going to require a joint effort in order to uh, mitigate the, the hazard. There's no way any of these one entities could be able to handle this on their own. I'm super proud of this team. I'm very proud of our relationships with the City of Virginia Beach and with all of Southampton Roads. And we look forward to continuing this kind of uh, operations, these kind of exercises to hone our capabilities out there in the field when the uh, rubber needs to meet the road.